good morning to all of you welcome to legal matters by sai babu sankara uh, professional ethics class <coughs> friends i already told you yesterday that nandralal badwani case which was taken as a contempt but it is a classic case of misconduct so the bar council of india is authorized to make rules under section 49 of the advocates act 1961 so therefore they have prescribed rules we have discussed the first 10 rules and out of them rule number 1 and 2 put together read combined they together are very very important the first rule says be in a dignified act in a dignified manner at the same time have some self respect second have a respectful attitude towards the court why already i told in the nandral badwan case today we are discussing another important case called as lalit mohan das lalit mohan das versus advocate general 1957 1957 classic case regarding rule 2 i can say so lalit mohan das was an advocate so he was a pleader already he was having some strained relations with the municipal local municipal magistrate particularly with the bench clerk you may be knowing the at the time of call work all the cases will be called and uh, important cases will be put before the uh, table put on the table of the judge and of course pick and choose whether they will take it sometimes the bench clerk manages some cases so it is on practically it happens right so actually our man this is lalit mohan das he was already having the strained relations with the judge and ultimately on the particular fateful day he was waiting for his chance he has got to argue three cases but the bench clerk or the judge for that matter called another matter and examined five witnesses in the particular case so already he is having strained relations he waited 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 of course after one hour he has thrown the files on the table on the bench and saying if i can manage the bench clerk yes my case will have come i don't want is correct magistrate took it a serious you objectionable character conduct on the part of the local advocate so he has written a report to the high court for contempt or for taking action he wanted to report the matter to the bar council also at the time incidentally the atj who was a senior man he intervened in the evening he called the advocate as well as the magistrate also he has reprimanded the advocate are you boy they are you are not having a personal animosity with the judge of trial we work here for 3 years maximum 3 years we can't be here of course we can come in another cadre and there is no personal there should be no personal animosity between you and the judge why should you quarrel why should you lose tongue he is a sir in uh, in an intemperate mood uh, so yeah, i have uttered like that uh, those people who are able to manage the bench clerk with ting ting yes they are able to get the cases earlier and we have to wait hours together we have got to practice in some other uh, bench and things like that anyway so he has cooled the atmosphere and asked the uh, advocate uh, to tender an apology okay so he filed an affidavit stating that uh, due to in that uh, outburst matter he has spoken like that but he doesn't have any grounds against the judiciary he says uh, he apologized but the apology was not tendered in the uh, full and fair settlement the written apology was not uh, fully carried out so the judge the magistrate before whom the incident happened he was not satisfied of course definitely i am sure the advocate might have uh, uh, submitted the written affidavit to the uh, i am sorry and it should not is it not so anyway once again the matter has been uh, sent to the high court so and bar council the he was suspended for 5 years for irregular behavior for intemperate behavior for not having a respectful attitude towards the court this is what i want to say right then he appeared of course the matter went up to the supreme court he said i have tendered apology i have tendered apology there was no valid reason 
for uh, suspension me because already i have tendered apology of course even the supreme court was also you can't say like that we don't want to interfere but uh, having seen that he was suspended for 5 years and having seen that already he spent one and uh, one year eight months the suspension period they have reduced it to two years after four months he has resumed duty so please have a respectful attitude towards the court okay with this i am stopping thank you